At the start of Key Stage 1, children start to learn to multiply by using repeat addition. The first step they need to do is read the number sentence. 10 multiplied by 3 equals. And they need to think what number are we going to repeat. The first number tells us the pattern we're going to be counting in. And the second number tells us how many times we need to count in the pattern of this number. So we can start by getting this number and writing it down three times. 10, add 10, add 10. The next step is we need to count in the pattern of our tens and get the answer. So 10, 20, 30. And we write the answer by our equal sign. Next, the children can move on to using a guided number line to help them solve their multiplication. Here we start by reading the number sentence 4 times by 10 equals. This first number tells you how many hops we need to draw onto our number line, which is 4. So I start at 0 and I draw 4 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4. The second number tells us what pattern we're counting in and on a guided number line this will already be filled in for the children and here we're going up in tens. The next step is we look at the number that we landed on with our hops and we landed on the number 40 which is our answer and we can write that by our equal sign. Next the children can move on to solving their multiplication by drawing their own number line. Firstly, we might give them a number line like this, that is a line with the dots on. The children would have to draw their own hops and write their own numbers underneath. And when they've gotten used to this method, we would give them a plain line for them to do the spacing themselves and the hops and the numbers underneath. When they've gotten used to this, we would give them a ruler for them to draw their own line in their books. When they have their number line ready, they can start solving their multiplication. Firstly, we read the number sentence, 3 times by 2 equals. The next step is we always start by doing our 0 at the start. The next step is to look at the first number, and this tells us how many hops we need, which is 3. So we can do 3 hops on our number line. The second number tells us what pattern we're counting in, so we now know we're doing our 2 times table. So we can write 2, 4, 6, and we stop at our last hop. Then we look at the last number in our pattern, which was 6, and that is our answer, which we write by the equal sign.